It sounds redundant, but I am really curious about what is the theatricality of theater? What is the art form itself? I don't think anybody will ever definitively answer that question. That's what I think is really wonderful about the art form, is that we'll never know. I am really interested in following a hunch. I have a hunch that this story will make a really exciting live performance. I don't know 100% all of the ways in which we are going to bring it to life on stage. And what's really exciting is having wonderful collaborators who are designers and actors who are all very generous, who are all very talented, who are all really invested in discovering what the theatricality of this piece is and how we are going to do it. The Machine Stops is a short story written by E.M. Forrester in 1909. This is a story about a future civilization where everyone has moved underground. They're all living in their own separate homes. They're all only communicating with each other by some type of video interface, very similar to what we would think of as Zoom or FaceTime. They're all reliant on this machine that is providing everything for them. So if you think about like Amazon Alexa times a thousand, like everything in your home, very much like the Jetsons, everything comes to you. You don't go to anything. The main character, Vashti, she has a son who's living underground on the other side of the earth. And one day he calls her and he says, I want to see you. And she says, well, I can see you. And he says, no, I want to see you in person, not through the machine. This year, because we did the summer lab experiments, we took a huge risk and we decided at the first rehearsal not to read the text as a play. We decided to read a synopsis of the story and then to generate a list of all the major events of the story. And then uh, what I asked the actors to do is to look at all those events and to create frozen images of each of those events. And then we added a little bit of movement and then put all of those frozen images together in one sort of piece that encapsulated a kind of physicality of the whole story. It was exciting to see the actors use their bodies to understand the narrative arc of this story, to start to get a physical understanding of who these characters were. Also because we really only have two central characters, but we have five actors. So figuring out what are all these, what are these other actors actually doing in these scenes when they are not characters, physicalizing the events of the story was really helpful for me at least to see what they could be doing. It was also very revealing as far as showing that this story could have a lot of movement, that it wasn't a static story, it wasn't people just standing still in one place. There is a, a lot more movement than I thought there would be. I think I'm really excited about how we find a way to interconnect all of these disparate elements. How does projection, and puppetry, and costume, and live acting, and lighting, and scenic design, and whatever other theatrical uh, modality we're working with, how does it all work together to make one cohesive piece? I'm really excited about that. I'm also really scared because I don't know the answer to that. But again, you know, it's we show up, we move the project a little bit forward every day with curiosity to uncover this new thing that's never been done before.